comparing calorimetric measures. This is purely a review and comparison of two concepts that we've talked about so that we can put them side by side. So let's talk about our two calorimetries. We had constant volume, or bomb calorimetry, and we had constant pressure, or coffee cup calorimetry. When we do constant volume, we measure delta E. If you want the larger explanation for why that is, go check out that video. So when doing constant volume, we measure delta E. Delta E is equal to Q. So for constant pressure, we're measuring delta H. Again, if you would like the larger explanation for why, go review that video. We're measuring delta H because delta H is equal to Q. So in both of these, we have some similarities. We're measuring Q. But because of the way that the math works out, in bomb calorimetry, we're measuring delta E. And in coffee cup calorimetry, we're measuring delta H. Now, often, these will be very similar. So if you have a reaction where very little work is done, in other words, the change in volume is very, very small, these will be very similar. The more work that is done, or the larger the change in volume, the more that these are going to differ. So often, later on in chapters, it will start feeling like delta E, delta H, and Q are all synonymous. This is not true. It's just that often the situations that we are in allow them to all be relatively close to the same values. But when you're doing calorimetry, you are measuring Q. In both cases, you are measuring Q. Bomb calorimetry, that is equal to delta E. It's not synonymous with, it's equal to. And in coffee cup calorimetry, it is equal to delta H. Not synonymous with, but equal to.